Hey Brit Lovers, so last weekend I went for a Sunday roast with a mate and I normally go for beef, of course, but I threw in a curveball and went for pork. At which point my mate said I should order some coke, pour it over it and maggots will come out. This video is eight years old now, but it's clearly stuck in people's mind. Anyway, more on that later, but it's got me thinking, is there actually anything living in your meat? Well, the answer is yes. First things first, there's the bacteria. A huge variety can live in your meat, from E. coli to Campylobacter, the most common cause of food poisoning in the UK. These curvy little fellows are found on the majority of raw chickens sold in this country. Yet another reason to always wash your hands after cooking chicken. Oh, but top tip, don't wash the chicken itself, because all you're doing is potentially splashing the germs around. Second up, there could be viruses, even tinier nasties in there too. One bit of research suggests that up to 10% of British sausages could be contaminated with hepatitis E. And there's bigger stuff living in there too. I'm talking parasites, worms and other surprises. Pork is particularly notorious for harbouring parasites. More on that and that gross video later. Now, cooking will kill most of these nasties, but you may have noticed that so far I've mentioned pork and chicken quite a bit, but not touched on beef or the other things you eat rare, like sushi. Why is it that some raw meat is worse than others? Well, partially it's preparation. In Europe, there's actually a law that says that raw sushi fish must be frozen for at least a day before it's used to kill anything living in it. And with a nice piece of beef steak, most contamination on that sort of meat will come during butchering. The outside gets splashed, but the inside of the joint is still good. That means that any bacteria are likely to be on the surface of your steak. So a good searing on the outside should still leave you free to enjoy your meat rare. Anything made of minced up meats though, like burgers or sausages, is more likely to be contaminated. The inside and the outside of joints are all mixed together, and the meat in it possibly comes from several different animals, raising the possibility that one was contaminated. The thing is, chicken and pigs and the way we prepare them do seem to attract the worst parasites. Chicken is famously an incredibly attractive home for salmonella. In America, one study found that nearly a quarter of chicken pieces on sale were contaminated with some form of it. And according to that video earlier, pork has yet another particular danger which lives inside. Worms. But you know what? That film is a hoax. The granddaddy of internet fact checkers, Snopes.com, reckons that the urban legend of coke bringing maggots out of pork has been around since before YouTube even existed. Imagine that. Even the guy who made the video admits openly that he faked it. But it was at least inspired by a fact. Pigs, as well as bears and cougars, not those types, can be infected by Trichinella spiralis worm larvae. The little things live in cysts in the meat, which pop open in human stomach acid and release the larvae. Now, this gets even more gross, sorry. They then breed in the intestines and release larvae that move into the muscle cells, becoming cysts in preparation for the whole process to someday begin again. But trichinella cysts are tiny, so it's unlikely you'd see them on a video like that. They live inside individual cells, and in fact a single gram of meat can contain more than a thousand. And the parasite is also increasingly rare. In 2010, only 20 cases of trichinosis were reported, and they were usually from people eating wild game or trying to dry their own jerky. The worms are dying out because we are much more careful about how clean our meat is. There are now laws against feeding raw meat and garbage to pigs, breaking the chain of infection. They've almost killed off the tapeworm too, another notorious porky parasite. Oh, and talking meat, if you've ever wondered exactly what goes into an American-style hot dog, why not check out this video from Will and Trace over at DNews. They dive into some interesting history of the Frankfurter and what goes into that mass-produced sausage. Why not tell them that Brit Lab sent you, and if you like what they do, give them a sub. As always, if you've enjoyed this vid, then uh, give us a like. If you're new, give us a sub, and don't forget to leave a comment below. When the sun decides to actually come out here in the UK, there is no better way of celebrating than getting all your mates around for a tasty bit of barbecued meat. 